All right, we're here in Exacad uh, working on our OptiSplint workflow. So we're going to um, match implant positions. We've got a couple different layers here. We've got our intraoral scan, and then our scan abutment scan is data that we've trimmed from a desktop lab scanner, which should be more accurate. And then we've got our actual jaw scan, which was scanned with uh, DES MUA scan bodies. And we'll not use that other than for the, the soft tissue in the design. So the cool thing about these Digital Arch OptiSplint um, library files is it's a uh, three surface. So we'll turn this off so it's easier to see. And it's a best fit match. So you can see the accuracy of, of the match and the surfaces that match. So this is nice because in a lot of these, the data down by the gum line gets cut and that's not part of the, the area that, that's picked up, which should in, improve accuracy. So we'll move on to the next one. Let's fit match there. And we'll just keep working through here in the wizard. Uh, ExoCAD has a policy that unless it's registered with them, they, that little warning pops up every time, which is kind of annoying. And yeah, this is a you know a pretty pretty good match every time on these. All right. So now it will uh, create our analogs. If I turn off my other layers, you can see the implant positions are, are now set. And the nice thing about um, this file too, go back and show that, you can actually change, there are a lot of options here. So depending on what you're you're using, whether you're using a tie base, and then any brand that fits the Nobel style multi-unit, which is is most common. So we've got different options for direct on the screws, um, Powerball and Rosen screws, and the Des 19018, which is what we usually use. So you can see it inserts that, that screw profile. Now the other thing, see here on the analog parts, we'll use the soft tissue extensions as an alignment strategy, but the kit also comes with these analogs that you can insert in the back end of the arch and scan the arch, and then use that as your alignment strategy instead. So multiple ways to do it. 